Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia. I am a mom of two and a nail polish addiction has helped me stop biting my nails, although it's a work in progress as you can see, but these nails are nice. That's why the channel is called Mama Hearts Polish and that is also the name of my blog. Anyways, today I was going to um, talk to you about this new color that I have coming up from Moonflower Polish, which is my brand of stamping polish. But occasionally, I will do um, limited edition colors that release for like a month for different reasons. Uh, previously in January, I had a, a depression awareness uh, inspired by Linkin Park collab with another blogger and that was limited edition and they were not stamping polishes. And for this month, for April, I am participating in the Fantasmic Flakies group on Facebook uh, for their uh, customs for the group. And so this is the uh, polish that will be offered this month only, as part of the uh, as part of the custom for um, for the group. All the members in the group uh, voted on submitted inspiration pictures, and I think they voted. And then the uh, group admin sent me the winning picture that for my polish. There's two makers each uh, month, and so um, I'll insert uh, the picture in the video in one of the corners, like in this area or something like that, so you guys can see what it is. And uh, this is what I came up with. It looks really purple. It's actually um, sort of a blurple, kind of like an indigo uh, blue leaning purple. Um, base color, it's a jelly uh, base. It is not for stamping. Otherwise, if I made it for stamping, you wouldn't be able to see all the flakies in it. The group is called Fantastic Flakies, therefore it had to have a lot of flakies. So it has, in addition to the indigo um, jelly base, it also has a lot of uh, reddish pink shimmer and it has um, red to gold aurora shimmers or unicorn which are also known as the um, aurora uh, unicorn uh, pigment um, the fake unicorn pea pigment um, or the uh, sister pigments the unicorn pea um, this one shifts uh, red to gold um, and then in addition to that it has um, what are called crystal chameleon flakes which are a different type of uh, flaky than the ultra ultra chameleon flake, which is like a darker, more opaque, typical multi-chrome uh, flake. This one is it looks um, iridescent and slightly translucent um, until you mix it into base or layer it over a color, and then you can see the shift. And then the shift will depend a lot on the base color, whereas the regular ultra chrome flakies will always shift the same color because they're very opaque and it doesn't matter if they're in a pale, in a, you know, pastel color or dark color color they'll still shift the same and with the uh, crystal chameleon flakies they do better over um, darker colors so you can see the full sh uh, shift anyway this shifts um, let me see if we can see the shifts in the model so this shifts a, a purple red sort of gold green on the extreme corners there of the bottle um, oh the polish is called sweet dreams and this is the label um, so this, it will only be available in the 15 millimeter size. Oh, sorry about this on the thumb. I was making nail polish earlier to, uh, earlier today. I was making a new batch of uh, color and I thought I had cleaned it up, but I still got some on my thumb. Um, anyways, ignore that. So this is what, what the, my, uh, polish bottle looks like. This is the 15 uh, milliliter version, as you can see in the, on the label, um, which is about half a fluid ounce. Um, this will not be available in the mini size. It will be $10 and I'm going to have this listed on my shop and I'll put the link in the description box below and I'll also put the link for the Facebook group in the description box below so you guys can check it out and join the group and see all the other amazing flaggies that other, uh, another maker is doing and that, you know, in general, makers love sharing their flaggy polishes in that group because it's an easy way of seeing all the flaggy polishes that are currently available from all the different makers. So, um, obviously I've swatched this in the process of making it, um, I did swatch it a whole bunch of times, um, but I haven't actually like officially swatched it on my nails, um, for pictures or anything, so I'm gonna be doing that today, swatching them on these four, four fingers, and, uh, you guys can see how it applies, it should be opaque in two to three coats, if you have longer nails or really, um, a lot of noticeable free edge, or your free edge is very white, mine is not, as you can see my nails are short, and there's barely any free edge, um, you might need... Uh, three coats. Um, I did send it out to a bunch of bloggers, and those reviews uh, should start being posted very soon, or maybe by the time you see this video, it will have already been posted. 
Here is a bottle shunt. As you can see, mine is a little messy. My bottle is a little messy because uh, I've tested it out and swatched it on swatch sticks and on the mat before, so I should clean that up. But uh, let me see if I can get this to focus. It's looking very purple, um, but you can see all the shimmers and the flakies. Some of the flakies are probably going to be stuck in the bottle. So let me give it a shake. That came out more, way more opaque than I thought it would. Okay, so that's the first coat. Now I'm going to do the second coat. Too much polish on my brush. Just need, I don't know if you can see, that's all I need. It's a tiny, tiny amount. Um, I forgot that it's good to show you guys the uh, cleanup process so you can see if it stains or if it's easy to remove or not from your skin. So I'm actually going to show you that instead. And then I'll do top coat. I'm going to be using this um, angled cleanup brush from Lantern and Run. And in case I have any extra flakies that are stuck to my skin and not wanting to let go, I use this Fab Your Nails brush because it is um, thicker and like sturdier and easier for scrubbing on the skin. Um, for cleanup, I use 100% acetone with some acetone added additive from uh, Lillian's Garden, which is another indie brand. I have a little bit that's still stuck in this section of skin here that I have that's always really dry. It's like a little callus. Okay, now I'm gonna um, add some top coat and try and show you the polish from um, different angles so you can see the flakies because I feel like you can't see them here with these lights that I got. Let me zoom in. I got a flaky stuck there. Some flaky action happening there. For the top coat, I'm just using out the door. Um, 
just have good. This polish does dry a little bit shiny. I only have top coat on this nail. But I still recommend always adding top coat to help it dry faster and to protect it and help your manicure last longer. I will probably be adding a matte top coat a little later after I take the um, pictures with the shiny top coat because flakies always look really cool under a matte top coat as well. Okay guys, I'm done. I just put um, cuticle oil all over my finger so I'm waiting for that to soak in so I can take some pictures but in the meantime, here's what the polish looks like under all my lights. Ignore my super short thumbs. I'm working on it. So what's frustrating is that a lot of the flickies are stuck to the bottle so they don't seem to be sticking on the nail, but they're still there. I'll insert some um, swatch photos and a macro shot so you can see the uh, polishes, uh, a polish close up. Let me also turn off some of these lights so that you can see it under different lighting conditions. And now I'm going to turn off all of the lights. And this is just in my kitchen lighting. I will say that it looks, to me, it's coming out super purple uh, in my camera. Almost like a neon purple, and it is not. Now I'm going to be doing some nail art using this image from Dixie Plates uh, 04. Um, so this image right here, it's actually quite large. As you can see, it's way larger than my actual nails. I'm going to be use it, doing it on my uh, ring finger and middle finger. So I'm just going to do a small section. I'm going to be using the silicone uh, stamper from Fab Your Nails. There you go. This really soft, squishy silicone stamper. And for my semi polish, I'm going to be using Moonflower Polish in Noche. Now I'm going to use out the door matte top coat. So here's the final look at Sweet Dreams, my Fantastic Flakies uh, group custom for April. You only have about two months to get it, I mean two weeks to get it. This is only available until the end of the month, which is uh, the 30th, so about two weeks. So here's what it looks like matte and with the um, nail art added, and here are the swatches I did afterwards with the nail art. And I'll have all the links you need uh, below. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.